Karen from the Geordie Grandma. How are you doing? I hope you're enjoying this uh, lovely warm weather. Although it is a little bit hot. The sunshine is lovely but oh god night times are just horrendous. Is anybody being able to sleep? It's just um, I'm going to sleep at like 10 o'clock at night and waking up at half 11 and think it's five o'clock in the morning. It's just too hot through the night and for some reason our house it's 10 degrees hotter upstairs than it is downstairs. It is horrendous. I might, uh, I've actually thought about sleeping in the garden. It was being that hot. But I suppose you can't have everything. So today I've got an Aldi haul for you. Um, Warren's away for the weekend. He's gone to DetectorCon, uh, which is like a, it's a festival, kind of a festival for metal detectorists. Um, so there's about 700 of them gone up to it's it's only about an hour's drive away they've gone up to um explore these new fields uh in the camping it's like a three night thing they're camping overnight um there's like a bar there and music and food van so it is just like a festival for metal detectors he did ask us if i wanted to go but i said no you're all right i'm okay for that um, I did go metal detecting with them for the first time the other night, uh, just to a local beach. We're only out an hour. I just thought that, you know, it was nice to have a walk because I'm in the house most of the time. Uh, it's nice to get out and have a walk, even, you know, on the beach is lovely. Uh, so tried the metal detector for myself. Um, I found a pound coin. <laughs> I'm like, treasure, I found a pound coin. Uh, but you never know what he's going to find. Some of them find, you know, fantastic things. But anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'll get on with the Aldi haul because because he's away, I popped up to Aldi. I'm a bit bored, to be honest. Um, so I popped up to Aldi, so I thought I would show you what I bought. So I picked up this graphics garden dinosaur to paint. Obviously not for me, it's for uh, Ashton. I got Harriet a Peter Rabbit one last week, which I hasn't done yet, so I thought I'd better get Ashton one as well for the next time they come. So they've both got something to paint. So there's a little dinosaur, it's like a little mould, and I have some little pots of paint saying, uh, and he'll spend maybe 20 minutes painting that, that'll keep him occupied. And that was 2 99 I thought that was worth 2 99 I picked up a... Uh, this is the Sentiment Collection Oasis Retreat Reed Diffuser. And it is Gardenia, Violet and Bergamot, which sounds really nice. I haven't smelt it um, because they're open, you can't really smell them. I don't know whether I can smell a little bit through the box, but that could have been because I was standing next to the candles. So I'm hoping that smells nice. I never have much luck with Reed Diffusers. They never seem to give off much scent, so... We'll hope that one's a little bit better. The price of that was that was three pound forty nine. Couldn't resist this candle when I saw it. It is an Amalfi lemon, uh, and this one I could definitely smell. Um, it just smells. It smells of lemons. Obviously, it's Amalfi lemon, but it's really, really refreshing smell. I thought that might be nice in the bathroom or the kitchen. Uh, yeah, really nice. I'm not sure what make they are. The Aldi's own make. Could be. Uh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so the candle was three twenty nine for the candle. I picked up this, which I didn't know what it was at first. I just thought, oh, I'm attracted to the colours and the shape of that. And it's a spiralizer. I've been um, on a low carb, I'm not going to say diet, I'm on a low carb lifestyle recently. Um, I've lost a stone in the last maybe five weeks, which I'm really pleased with. But I wanted to try some courgette spaghetti and I didn't have a spiralizer. I did actually sell a spiralizer not long ago on AB. Um, I, I should have kept it, but anyway, I didn't know. But this is a curtain house spiralizer and it says there is three stainless steel blades in there so i'm assuming each color is a different blade um yeah i thought that might be handy we'll see don't know how good it's going to be but that was 
$3.99. Bought the swing bin liners. These are quite good ones. Um, you get 30. They're 50 litre ones. Got, my bins are quite large. Um, 30 litres. Tie, tie string? Drawstring. Drawstring bags. And they're quite good, those ones. And they are only £1.39 £1 pound for those. Picked up some ibuprofen because I was running out. I think they are 69 pence ibuprofen. I should have put my specs on, shouldn't I? Ibuprofen, where are you? Where are you? I can't find the um, ibuprofen on. Oh, there you go. 39 pence for the ibuprofen. I saw these shampoos and conditioners and they look very like the Aussie shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I'm running out of the one I've got and I know this is uh, cruelty free. It's got the little bunny on the back. It's Lacura uh, Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner for dry hair because my hair is just, it's like straw. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. don't know whether it's me age or what or the heat, but it's like straw. I can't do anything with it. So I thought I would try this. It says with macadamia nut oil from Australia. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sure this was only 99p. Yeah, they were only 99p a bottle. So how good they are, I don't know, but we'll give them a try and I'll let you know. I also picked up a Lacura toner. Now I've got the Rose Glow toner, which I've quite enjoyed, and I'm running out of that. And then I saw this Healthy Glow Acacia collagen toner skin conditioning toner with coconut water and sea salt and i thought that sounded quite nice i've heard a lot about collagen stuff for skin i don't know a lot about it but apparently it's good um for is it for elasticity of your skin especially when you get older so i thought i'd give it a try i can't smell it no i can't smell anything but um it's obviously it's a little squeezy bottle so it's hard to see but I thought I'd give that one a go. The Lucura toners, like I said, I quite enjoyed the, the last one. And this one is £3.49 for that. They didn't have many skin products in my Aldi. Uh, I think maybe they're restocking, but they didn't have a lot. That was the first bag. I think the second bag's mostly food. Um, got some eggs on a low-carb diet. Because I'm vegetarian, well, I, I eat fish, but I don't eat meat. Um, I eat a lot of eggs. Uh, good for protein. No carbs in them. Bought a pack of the foodie market walnut halves. Oh, I didn't tell you how much the eggs were. For half a dozen free-range eggs, they were 95p for the eggs. The foodie market walnut halves. It says nuts for nibbling. Uh, they are... I think they're £2.09. £2.09 pence for those. I've been using a lot of walnuts lately because I've been eating a lot of Waldorf salad. It's become my new favourite go-to thing to have for my tea um, or dinner, wherever you are in the country at night time, my night, my night time meal. Uh, I just love um, Waldorf salads. So uh, leaf, celery, walnuts. Um, I use silk and cheese on it. What else do I put on? I have put an avocado on occasionally and some dressing just made with olive oil, salt and pepper and some lime juice over the top on apple on the walnut, uh, on the Waldorf salad as well. Um, and just really, really nice. And it's really filling, to be quite honest. It's strange with the low carb diet. Um, I don't feel hungry. I know on other diets, sorry, eating plans let's not say diet because it's something you've got to do for the rest of your life um on other eating plans i obviously i haven't really felt hungry because you do get enough food you know if you're doing it properly but i found that on things like slimming world so for like sins i was like using them up on chocolate and crisps whereas on the low carb you don't do that you just you, it's 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 low carbohydrate um, not really high protein I'm not doing and you eat a lot of fat and apparently it's the carbohydrates that make you crave sugary things and carby things 
Um, so because I've I'm cutting out carbohydrates, well I'm I'm down to about maybe I'm seeing 130 grams in under a day. It's round about 60. I'm having a day. Uh, so because I'm doing that, I'm not feeling hungry. But not only that, I'm not craving sweets and chocolate and crisps. I honestly not missing them. So <laughs> there's a little tip for you. So anyway, the walnut halves, um, really good bargain for that size bag. Well, some crispy mixed leaf salad, just delicate and mild. Um, I find the salad and the salad stuff's going off really quick at the minute because of the heat. Even kept in the fridge, it seems to be going off. And the salad was 39p for the salad. Uh, I bought some smoked haddock fillets, two smoked haddock fillets. Me and Warren both like smoked haddock. Really nice. I had this on a bed of... What was it? Spinach and peppers and mushrooms with some cheese on the top. Um, and I think I had some sweet potato wedges with it as well when I had them before. It's just really, really delicious. Uh, and low in carbs apart from the sweet potato. But that's okay now and again. I'm becoming a, I'm becoming a low carb bowl. Uh, so the two smoked haddock fillets, boneless. How um, many grams in the pack? 250 grams. That was £3.15, which I think is a decent price. I picked up some radishes as well, because salads can get a little bit boring, so it's nice to mix it up with some different things on it. So I thought I'd buy some British radishes. Radishes always remind us of, a, um, I used to call her my auntie, but she was actually my great aunt. Uh, she always used to have radishes on her salad, and every time I say radishes, it reminds us of her. So some British radishes, and they were 43 pence. It's a good price, 43 pence. Picked up an avocado. Avocado is really good, good fats and an avocado. Uh, that was 85 pence. I only picked up one, I picked up two last week. I don't know whether it was from Aldi or Sainsbury's I got them, but I picked up two. Left them in the fruit bowl just for a couple of days. I actually forgot about them and they were off. I couldn't eat them, they were just all black inside. So I'll have to eat this one either today or first thing tomorrow because like I say, it's, they're going off really quick. I suppose I could put it in the fridge. <laughs> Good idea, Karen. Um, picked up some red onions, really like a red onion. Um, they were 55p for the red onions. I'm running out of space. Not much left now. Got a cucumber. I like just eating cucumber, cutting a chunk off and having a munch on that. And the cucumber was 43p. What's with the 43p? Strange sort of price, 43p. Uh, I got a jar of baby, whole baby beetroots. Again, just to jazz up the salads a little bit. I quite like beetroot. Like anything pickled, really. <laughs> Um, the beetroot was 49 pence for the jar of beetroot. That's a really good price for that, 49 pence. And last but not least, I picked up one of these, which I've seen before when I've been in. I thought, I need to get one of those. It's an absorbent dish drying mat. Uh, so it's just a mat you lay out on your draining board or your bench to dry things on. And what I bought it for was, when I buy things from auction, so I buy a lot of tea sets and things like that. And I usually wash them before I photograph them and list them. And there's usually that much of it. I'm having to do like three loads of drying before I can wash them all. So I thought if I buy this mat, I can put it on the bench and stand some of the cups and things on there, as well as using my dish drainer. Um, and I won't have to dry as, as, as often, if that makes sense. Uh, so I thought that was handy. Absorbent dish drying mat, power force it says, Thick and absorbent, machine washable. And that was £1.49. So that was everything I bought at Aldi this morning. I spent £31.83 in total. I actually thought she said £81 when uh, she gave us the total. And I'm thinking that can't be right. But it was £31.83. So I'm quite looking forward to trying the new toner um, and the reed diffuser. And I'm going to light that candle straight away when I finish this video. Because the smell is just gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever day it is when you watch this. Uh, it's Saturday today for me. 
so I think I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee now and I'll see you again really soon oh actually next week I've got a really um, interesting giveaway prize for you um, I was given this free by a company so I'm going to use it as a giveaway um, I'm going to do it on my blog and on my video it's kind of a thank you for reaching 1000 followers uh, on my YouTube channel but I'll also put it on my blog because it's easier to run the competition from there. So look out for that next week. A really good giveaway. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching and bye for now.